afternoon and welcome to our session today on guilt. Something that we can all relate to as being a lot of pressure actually on us. My name is Linda, I'm your motivational mentor and today we're going to bring up a list to do with guilt. Things that we need to be able to look at, examine and work out the path ahead for us. Okay, I've just rushed in <laughs> from a morning meeting, so I'll just catch my breath. How are you? Tell me how you are. Hashtag this is how I'm feeling. <laughs> just put the feeling in, not the um, whole big hashtag. As you can see today, I'm feeling really good. And that's what having good friends does for you. <laughs> Hello, it's good for you to be here. Actually, before we start about guilt, I'd really love to talk to you about how in order to get with the guilt thing and all the emotional stuff, we have to recognize when we're afraid. So I don't want you to be afraid to press the like button, to interact. It can be pretty daunting, actually. I know when I first began on Facebook, I was like, oh, if I press a button and someone knows, it's like they see me. And that's how it felt like someone was going to see me and I was going to stand out and all sorts of um, interesting stuff, interesting emotions. But the bottom line is, uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to be able to communicate, to have uh, someone we can talk to, interact with the community, etc, etc. Now, I'm just trying to see if it will put up your comments for me today. Uh, hello. I fed the cat, but she's still going to have a winch. Okay. Now, what we're going to do with, with guilt is, first of all, we're going to look at the definition of it. Okay. So it's a feeling of worry or unhappiness that you have because you have done something wrong, such as causing harm to another person. Now, that's the definition of guilt. But when we sit down and have a look at, is it true? Am I feeling the guilt because I've done harm? Or am I feeling the guilt because I think I'm going to do harm? And a lot of our guilt in this day and age certainly comes from feelings that we believe that we don't know if we've done harm. We don't know if we're going to do harm by the decisions that we make. Uh, things that you can think about in that respect are things like mummy guilt, okay? It comes up all the time for women who work, okay? And then the irony is that women who stay, at, who choose to stay at home and raise their kids also feel mummy guilt because they're not at work. And it's diabolical how we can actually have a tennis match with our guilt. Oh, I feel guilty because... I'm not at work or I feel guilty because I am at work and really at the end of the day it's not the truth of who we are. So how do we get to the truth of who we are and what exactly is right for our life so that we can move on from feeling this perpetual guilt and, and it does, it feels like this big weight and like it's something we can't solve but we can solve it so that we can be in a place of peace. Now, if you look up the, op uh, the opposite of guilt, you can come across words like innocence. Um, oh, there was a few others too, but at <laughs> one of them was not guilty. And I went, oh, yeah, that's not really going to help us at all. What we really need to search for is the joy in our decisions. So, before I get ahead of myself, um, please, Panda, Panda, come on. Let's go with how we go through processing what's happening for us when we feel guilty, okay? So first of all, you have to admit that you feel guilty. It's, you know, we, we can tend to want to separate it from ourselves. Oh, that's over there. I'm not going to deal with it. It's around. It's an emotion, but, you know, I've got too many other things to worry about. So first of all, in order to deal with it and overcome the emotion of guilt, we have to admit that it's actually very fully present in our lives, okay? Then ask yourself a question. Did you, make, did you make your decision with wisdom? 
So was it a conscious decision in this respect? Will I go to work or won't I go to work? And if it was a conscious decision made with wisdom about when, when you, t and wisdom is we take into effect, into account the effect of our decision. Okay. So we sit back and we look at what our decision will do five steps down the road. Okay. And if you've made that decision with wisdom, you then ask the next question. Do you need to re-examine your decision? And it's a fair enough question because sometimes we make decisions in a hurry. Sometimes we make decisions based on the pressure of other people around us. So some people have families who put pressure on them to do things a particular way because that's how it's always been done. And you fight an uphill battle because you feel the unspoken pressure around you. Okay? Acknowledge, key four, acknowledge what you can learn from the situation to make healthier decisions in the future. Okay? So either way, whether you made the decision with wisdom or not, in order not to have the guilt come and pervade uh, your healthy decision, you want to sit down and work out, is there another way I could go around this? Is there somebody else I could seek wisdom from? And if you have a good group of friends around you who will tell you the truth, or you have a mentor, or you have a pastor, or you have a leader, or you have somebody who's got really good life experience, okay, then you can go to them and gather more wisdom as well, okay? So wisdom is not just about black and white decisions. Wisdom comes from experience as well. Okay, so you want to be able to put into effect a decision that comes from a lot of wisdom. <laughs> except, key five, except that we are not perfect, nor will our decisions be perfect. So if you want to get rid of the guilt feeling, accept that it's not going to be perfect and you're going to learn and grow as you go along. Okay, that simply means that, okay, I'm going to make a decision now and this is what I can see, this is the wisdom I've gathered and I feel comfortable right down within me that this decision is right for me, this decision is right for my family at this time, this decision is what I need to feel peace with and if I feel peace about this decision then I make a commitment to it and I go forward from here. Always aware that I can learn and I can grow from the decision that I'm going to make. And, <laughs> sorry, and if you do that, then that's going to be a wise decision anyhow. There won't be a need to feel guilt. So even if the de decision doesn't turn out to be the best, most bright, dazzling decision you could ever have made, if you're going to learn and grow from it, then you're going to have an experiential life where all of your experiences combine to be able to not only relate more wisdom to other people, but bring more wisdom into your life, okay? If your decision is not causing harm, then examine if your guilt is irrational, okay? Mummy guilt can be the most irrational thing because sometimes we have to make decisions based on our circumstances, whether we like it or not, okay? Uh, one of the hardest things that happened for me is I had to go back to work when my eldest son, Josh, was five months of age. He was preemie and my mum had just been diagnosed with cancer and on and on the list went. There was a lot of change at that time. My parents had been living with me while they built a house and they moved out. Oh, it was just chaotic, to be honest. So feeling guilty that I couldn't be everywhere in everything for everybody would not, wouldn't allow me to be in the moment and do what I needed to do in order that I could just do one thing at a time. Guilt would have been pointless. Uh, it's better to feel love and joy about what I can do than it is to bother feeling guilty about what I can't do. 
And if you put guilt down to that set of scales, what can I do and what can't I do? And let's just feel joy about what I can do. Then you can see that it's irrational to feel guilty. Let's just feel joy. Let's have peace and let's move forward. Okay. Also look at whether guilt is something that's keeping you in the past because you don't want that either. That's pointless. We can't really, yesterday, we can't really, the year gone. We can only keep making today a better day. Okay? And I know you can do it. I know you can. If you've got any problems whatsoever with guilt and you can't unpack it on your own, please, 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 please seek help, assistance. Now, help isn't uh, a case of I'm getting help because I'm incapable. Getting help, getting assistance, getting input into our lives means we're actually very smart, okay? We're smart enough to know that there's aspects of our lives that we can't see. We're wise enough to know that if somebody could just put another piece of the puzzle in, then I'm going to be able to make my decision, okay? And I don't have to feel guilty. And we don't have to do life on our own, okay? Now, um, let me just check. So that's really, I know that's a lot of information to help you unpack guilt, but it's super important that even if you've got, oh, I haven't got my notebook here, even if you've got an A4 notebook and you put each point down and then you wrote under each key what was happening for you, it would help you unpack what's happening for you around the area of guilt. It also can give you reassurance that you've made a healthy decision now and that should give you a sense of commitment to keep going ahead with the decision you've made. If other people come in and they say to you, well, let's face it, other people could come in and say many and varied things, especially other people who are older than us, they tend to want to come along and say, well, I don't think this or I think that or I see this or you should or you should is always an interesting one, isn't it? Because they're not living our life and they don't have the vision and the dream for our future that we have as individuals. Don't let the people who vocalise everything derail the decisions that you're making okay people who love and support you for who you are will understand that you're making a decision now and you're going to see how it turns out and I've got the perfect example for this too you cannot put rules around somebody else you've got to let them have their own life experience and it happens with our children all the time and if we don't let our children fall down and be there as the one that picks them up and shows them that there's love and support around them, it's an experience, all right, so they're breathing in that whole experience, then how will they learn that they're not in this world on their own? They won't, okay? They'll keep believing that they have to do everything on their own. We don't want to raise future generations like that. We want to raise future generations where we're all in this together. Okay? Now, if you hear on the replay, hashtag replay, if you make comments below, I will check in as soon as I can. And it's been wonderful to have you with me today. So, did we do the hashtag replay? Do you hashtag replay? But also, if you're dealing with guilt and you don't want it anymore, we're going to do a hashtag no more guilt. No more guilt weighing you down. You're going to choose peace and you're going to have that comfort that I've made a considered decision and I need to keep going forward. I'm living this life and I have to do it my way. Okay? I know you can do it and I know you can stretch yourself to keep doing it. Okay. Blessings and dreams.